largest contentful pain, Core Web Vitals. In this video session, we're going to explore what largest contentful pain is about. And also I'm going to share with you tips and insights so that you can perhaps understand how to approach fixing largest contentful paint issues if it's loading longer than 2.5 seconds. Largest contentful paint basically means the area of a web page, it can be text, it can be an image, it can be a video, it doesn't matter what it is on a landing page. There is an area that is considered the largest area in terms of when someone lands on the page and the page starts loading and that largest area is displayed. If it's longer than 2.5 seconds, then we need to fix that. So in this example, this can be perhaps the largest contentful area. If it's perhaps a blog post in this example, it could be an image perhaps. Best way to find out what it is, is use PageSpeed Insights and analyze a given URL. And the best suggestion that I can pass on to you is consider the major sections of your website. If you're operating an e-commerce site, then you definitely need to test your product URLs. If you have blog posts, then you need to test blog posts as well is in those URLs because largest contentful area can change depending on what you're presenting on certain parts of your website. Also, since page experience update considers both mobile and desktop usage, it's wise to test using mobile as well as desktop device. Once you run the test, page speed inside shows you largest contentful pain. In this example, it's loaded within 1.5 seconds. And to find out exactly what the, the largest contentful pain is, we scroll down the page and press on largest contentful pain element. Here, page speed shows us for that example, it's an image. So this is the URL we've tested and we can see it's this image. By the time the page has loaded, actually the best way for us to test this is press on refresh and don't let go of the mouse and select empty cache and hard reload. Let's press on it. You see, this page, although complex, it has loaded reasonably fast. But because I live in Australia and we do have fast internet connection speeds, I have ADSL, uh, fiber optic. Some people, well, most people in Australia use fiber optic now. So if you're in US, UK, or perhaps you're in other parts of the world, such as India, perhaps, then someone may be using their mobile devices. So when you're running tests, you need to understand your ideal audience, as in who visits your website, where are they located, and what devices they use more than the other. For example, is it mobile? Is it desktop? If your target audience is perhaps you know, young generation, they're usually they're on their phone. You also need to ask, okay, does my target audience visit what I'm offering on my website, perhaps while they're going to work, catching a train in a busy train station? Because at that moment, they're using their mobile devices. So they're in a hurry, so to speak. As you can see, page experience algorithm update considers how people interact with websites. That is why the largest contentful paint needs to load within 2.5 seconds. That's the golden number. We can use PageSpeed Insights. You already know how to do that now. Let's use our 
Chrome Developer Toolbar and press on F12 on our keyboard. And then select Performance tab. We can clear and then start profiling this particular landing page. Because this will also show us the largest contentful paint. I actually think this is much easier once you are familiar with it, but it could be complex depending on your level of understanding of technology and website optimization. And as we can see, performance tab is actually showing us that LCP here, and it's actually highlighting what it is. So we can see it's an image tag. If we press on it, then it's going to take us to the code itself. Basically, when you look at this, let's do something like this. Let's edit the HTML. So what happens when someone clicks on that landing page as in they visit for the first time? Document type declaration says that's HTML5. And then browser starts calculating, beginning from HTML. And all what we see here, up to the point of that image, including that image, that time measure is called largest contentful paint. And that's how we optimize it, understanding that fact. Because if you're seeing largest contentful paint and it's an image on your site, perhaps it's a product image, and you're thinking, okay, I've compressed the image, I've resized it, I've reduced the file size, and yet PageSpeed Insights or Google Search Console, Core Web Vitals, is complaining. And at that moment, depending on the content management system that you're using, some clever, money-hungry plugin developers they end up saying, use our plugin, that's going to help Core Web Vitals. It's not. It may, to a little degree, but if your site is loading rather slow, because it has a lot of scripts together, and it's heavy scripts, then what good is a plugin? Make sense? That's why you need to reevaluate the way your page loads, and not just rely on some <laughs> SEO plugins, because that's not going to help, especially with the page experience algorithm update. Okay, so let's continue a little bit more because I can show you different tactics here. Using our developer toolbar, we can press on sources. We can see what's been loaded. In this example, it's a WordPress site, but it doesn't really matter because we could have done the same thing for Amazon. Here I can see... Um, Content scripts, that's to do with extensions. Best way to test it actually is this. Always use incognito window because that's much better because that eliminates the extensions and so on. Okay. So now you can do something like this. You can see that's the index. This is the the, the HTML and CSS and JavaScript. You can press on console, actually not console, network, you can press on the URL, close that, look at the waterfall. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna go in depth because we'll just it's like a can of worms, right? We'll go in deeper and deeper and deeper. Basically, you can see what scripts are loaded. You can press on network tab as well to see what else is loaded for this URL. And then identify the scripts. You can group them together, minify them, because there's always better ways to optimize websites. You can look at your, you know, functionality of the entire website ask yourself the plugins that you're using are they really really necessary 
If so, keep using it. If not, perhaps remove it or find a different solution. So at the end of the day, 2.5 seconds is the largest contentful pain. Make sense? So you can optimize it, no problems. But what I'm trying to tell you from my own experience, optimizing many websites, if you only focus on largest contentful pain, if you only focus on first input delay or cumulative layout shift only by themselves, then you'll always be you know, swimming upstream, so to speak, or swimming on a dry land, so to speak. You need to look at Core Web Vitals, largest contentful paint in a different manner. You have to look at the page experience update in a manner that you re-evaluate your website if it's not custom designed. 